No, I've just got a pile of paperwork on my desk. It's my admin day. Oh, I would love a day where I could get on top of my paperwork without any interruptions. Oh, you can't compare a bit of filing with the amount of admin I've got to do, Louise. Well, that's just a little bit insulting. We do a lot more than filing, Zoe. Yeah, she's right, you know, Zoe. We're the first face of the punter to see, and we've got to deal with all kinds of situations. No, I do know how much you contribute to the team. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm in touch with you lot, right? Uh, all the time sheets? No. A couple of things. One, what is Louise's surname? And two, how long has it been since you spent any time seeing what we actually do? Um, never. Never is correct. What's the programme called where the boss goes back to the shop floor to see how things are really run? Oh, um... I can't work behind reception. That would confuse the patients. Obviously, that'd be ridiculous. Correct. That would be ridiculous. Maybe you could be a porter. <laughs> Do you know what? I can do that. Yeah, and it'll help me with an application that I'm going to be putting through for, for more support staff. So. Okay, well, if you're going to play the part, you need to look the part. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. clears throat> leave it alone. You look sexy. Oh, really? Yeah, gives you certain elan. The joie de vivre. Do you speak French? No. You just like to drop French words into sentences to impress people? Yeah. Does that work? Well, not right now. Max, do you really think that I am dismissive of you lot? Yeah. Does it bother you? No. Well, there you go. Gives you a je ne sais quoi. Still not working that. OK, so we porters are the eyes and ears of the hospital. You mean your gossip? Well, partly, yes. But what I also mean is that we treat patients like people, not cases. So the rules are no doc speak, no bossiness, just smiles and people skills all the way. Sorry. What? Good start. You've got to keep this on you at all times and answer it immediately. And who's going to be on the other end? Me. Oh, joy. <laughs> so, are you feet? What? Why are you asking? Um, well, you, you know you love your heels. Mm -hmm. I'm... Yeah. I'm fine. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right, mate. Oh. oh, God. Oh, how much have you had to drink? Hey. Remember the rules. Oh. Come on, mate, let's have you up. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, look, Fred, the porters are here to take you to the ward. <clears throat> ah, you are loving this, aren't you? Would you judge me if I said yes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How are your feet, Zoe? Why is everybody so obsessed with my feet today? Oh, I thought it might make the day more interesting if I run a book on how long you'd last in your heels. Yep, and uh, I've got a tenner on it. <laughs> Look, you've already got me in this porter's top. The shoes are staying right where they are. Any the attitudes? Going nowhere. Bye, Fred! Oh, man. Robin, do you have... Right, Fred, see you in a bit. OK, so tell me something I don't know. Do you know how to do a tracheotomy? Hilarious. I'll start. I've always fancied... Blondes. You've got me all wrong here. Oh, Brunet! I've always fancied living in Spain. I don't mean to brag, but uh, I can sing Hey Jude in Spanish. Well, I bet that reels in all the senoritas. Your turn. When I was 20, I went to a Duran Duran concert. That's Sherry. And I kept a lock of Simon Le Bon's hair. That's weird. Well, you asked. I did, and I regret it. Oh, ladies first. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You're absolutely welcome. Oh, what a charmer. Isn't he just, yeah. Why don't we skip the lunch and go straight for the... Uh, oh, Mum! Mum! Oh, oh, it's OK, it's OK, it's OK, it's OK. OK, what's her name? Madeline, Madeline, try and take it easy. Right, what's hurting? My pride. It's all right, we've got a plaster for that. Ah! Oh, look, seriously, where's the pain? OK. Have you had any problems with your hip before? I've had surgery. What, a hip replacement? Uh, oh, I wish I could help you, Mum. Don't worry, we'll get some pain relief. We'll need a trolley and a nurse from the ED. Oh, I'll get it. Uh, actually, no, I should do it. She's not in any immediate danger, so let's try and keep her nice and still, yeah? Do you want to hold my hand, Madeline? Oh, do I ever? <laughs> All right, easy. Then hold it, not pull it off. <laughs> Come on, shh. <laughs> oh, this stuff is great. Yeah, have a win. Not right now, Mum. Oh. Right, Lily. What do we have? This is um, actually Jamie. Uh, okay, this is Madeline S. She took a tumble in the corridor upstairs. Um, right sided THR, and she's dislocated the prosthesis. 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 Okay, statistically, one in 20 cases of hip joint replacements can come out of their socket within the first six months. When did you have your operation, Madeline? Uh, eight weeks ago. 
Let's make ourselves invisible, Max. Hang on a minute, wait. She's going to need an X-ray eventually, and we can never find a porter when we need one. Well, you'll just have pages like everyone else. Come on. If I'd have said that to you, you'd have sat me. This is true. Okay, I am. I started as a tilligo. Do you admit you were famous? October the 13th, 1965. They came on at the beginning of the show and then again at the end. Who? No, the Beatles. Really? Oh, Max has got a song. He can sing you later, haven't you? So, Madeline, have you had any other major medical problems apart from this? You're a nosy so and so for a porter. Mum! Oh, don't worry, it's just the dogs talking. No, that's my mum. There is only one Madeline has. Actually, Zoe's a doctor. She's working with me for the day. She's just having a bit of trouble remembering the rules. Oh, I see. The radiographer will take you from here, but we'll be back for you later. Ta ta. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Has your mum had any other major medical problems? To be honest, I don't know. I was adopted. She's my birth mother. We only met a year ago. Oh, I see. She's going to stay and help me with the baby. I'm sure that'll be really lovely for you. See? I can do small talk. Are you...? Don't be counting your winnings yet. You said it against you. Did you? Yeah. We can go for a break after this, if you like. I'll show you Big Mac's hideout. Is that a euphemism? No, but it should be. <sighs> so, come on, honestly. How are you finding it? Five years in med school, ten years postgraduate training, and a fellowship at the College of Emergency Medicine. I'm hardly a porter, am I? OK, Madeline, I have just spoken to the surgeon, and he can fit you in theatre this evening. We can also offer you a fascia iliaca block. A what? It's a nerve block. It'll help with the pain, Madeline. Shouldn't you be somewhere else? Oh, good. This is like being on the torture rack. Uh, excuse me, I've got uh, Madeline's daughter here to see her. Oh, no. Mum, what has happened? I'm Dr Chow. She's had a complication from her hip. How did you find me? The taxi company told the clinic where they took you. What are you doing here? She came to visit me. You must be calm, and I've heard so much about you. And you've got one on me. Who are you exactly? Could I take you to the relative room? Yeah, maybe we can get you a glass of water or something. Thank you. Yeah, come on. Don't worry, Mum. We'll get this sorted. Oh, hang on. She told me Carmen knew all about me. Maybe she never found the right time. I wasn't exactly expecting her to win Grandma of the Year. Yeah, but listen, what's one of them? My gran swore like a sailor and drank like a witch, but I wouldn't have been without her. And my granny was always on my case because I never got married. I appreciate what you're saying. But it was a big risk, me letting her into my life. And what's a life without risks? Dull. Like a Saturday night at Dr Hannah's. You'll see spine. You on the move again, Madeline? Before you go, we have your records from your consultant and it seems you were diagnosed with APS, sticky blood. That's right, they gave her tablets for it. I hate taking pills. That's why I booked her in for convalescent care, which she walked out on. Well, APS can be passed on from mother to daughter. Oh, I've been tested, I'm absolutely fine. We informed the hematologist and also led the surgical care team. Hmm? APS can also result in miscarriages, especially in the first trimester, but also later on in pregnancy, it can be dangerous. Oh, trust me, dear. That part of my anatomy hasn't seen any action since 99. Mum! Briggs? You're natural. Oh, did you see a spark just then? No. Must be the heat between these two. Oh, Mum. I think they're a couple. We're, We're not, not a couple. couple. Um, I'm going to go home, Madeline. OK, dear. But shall I call you? I don't think so. Do you? Good luck. Renee, wait. Are you sure you want her to go? Carmen. There's something I have to tell you. When I was 32, I, I was still in my prime. I could do double flicks better and higher than anyone else. I haven't got time for one of your shaggy dog stories, Mum. Let her finish. I was stepping out with this young singer. I had high heels and a, a mink coat and everything. No, I was quite the looker. 
Frankie Vaughan was headlining. Oh, I'm going. No, please don't. Then tell Carmen the truth. What's going on? I... Oh, goodbye. Hang on. Rene, before you leave, I suggest you get tested for a blood clotting disorder called APS. Why? Because Madeline has it and it can be hereditary. Zoe? Yeah? Madeline, what's wrong? There's, there's pain in my chest that I, I can't... Okay. She's starting to get sinus. How's her pulse? It's threading. What's the matter? Carmen! Let's get a take from Issa. Let's go. Carmen! I'm right here, Mum. What is it? Rene is your si sister! Right, we have to get to Risa. Are you both coming? Yes. Yes. Let's go. OK, can we clear a bed, please? Lily, she's cyanos and tachypneic. We need to get some oxygen on, fluids off, bloods off, and an ECG, please, Tash. Right, Max, could you get a stand, please? Becky, I need a blood gas now. We could be looking at a pulmonary embolism. Is that serious? Can be. She'll be fine. She's a fighter. How would you know? This is all your fault. I didn't ask for this to happen. And it wouldn't have happened if she'd stayed in the care home. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Right, Max, could you get these two out, please? Yeah, come on. I am not leaving my mother. Nor am I. The last thing your mum needs is you two arguing. Yeah, he's right. If you want to stay, you have to be quiet and let me get on with my job. So what's it to be? Ladies? OK. Fine. Right, we need to do a CTPA. So, Lily, yeah. can you contact CT and arrange that, please? There it is there, in the left artery. Anticoagulant therapy should sort it out, right? Mm, unless she has a cardiac arrest. We'll take her back to recess and I'll call the medical registrar. Can I just point out something? Mm-hmm. Aren't you supposed to be a porter for the day? Do my best. Don't. How is she? She's stable. We're going to re uh, transfer her back to recess for the medical team. I can't stand the thought of losing her. Don't put the nails in the coffin yet. There's plenty of bounce in my step. Hey. Well, there you are. I have to say, I'm so glad today is over. Too boring for you, was it? Mm, it was interesting. Nice and vague. No, it just reminded me how much I like being a doctor. Oh, it's not all about you. And if you'd let me finish, it also highlighted that, although you're very good at disarming and charming patients, you're rubbish in a medical crisis. Well, I haven't had five years at med school, ten years postgraduate training and a fellowship from the College of Emergency Medicine. I'd be a doctor, am I? Touché. That's French. I know. So I'd like to recommend that you go on a basic life support course, just in case you're ever alone with a patient when they go off, like today. Yeah, great. I'll get paid extra for that. No. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry that none of you won your bet. I don't know what you're talking about. I had every faith that you do it. Thank you, Robin. No, thank you. I had a tenner on it. Well played. <laughs> Can I buy you a celebratory drink? Uh, yeah. OK, why not? Anybody fancy a drink? Yes, sir. I'm up for it. Yeah, me too. There, come in. My team. I'm up here for everyone, by the way. 